Hey, what's up? Just wanted to make sure everything's going right here. So let me just wait till I can see myself talking. Um, but once I can, just put it in the comments below. Let me know that we are live. Let me know you can hear me. I'm really excited, man. I'm pumped up. Let me see what's going on over here um, on Meerkat. Let me get situated, guys, before we go really deep into this uh, awesome content that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Um, my Meerkatters. I'm actually streaming this on Meerkat and on, uh, yeah, there we go. That's me on TV, right? <laughs> so I'm excited, man. I'm pumped up. What is going on, man? I got two screens here. I got everyone who's watching me here on the webinar, and I got people here watching me on Meerkat. So if you see me look away from the screen, it's not because I'm trying to ignore you. Um, I just, I'm just trying to cater to both audiences. So I'm pumped up, man. If you're excited, put it in the comments below right now. Let me know that you're excited. You're probably wondering what the heck is this about, right? Well, I'm going to share that with you in just a moment, okay? Really, today's webinar is all about becoming the best version of yourself, okay? And I'm really just going to walk you through mentally, physically, spiritually, right? Three, here's what I'm going to go over. I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to go over today, okay? You're going to be learning this, okay? You're going to be learning the mind game, okay? Three reasons why most people never, ever have the opportunity of being alive to help them become the best version of themselves. So if you ever feel like you're stuck, this is, this is going to be for you, right? Uh, I'm going to go over the physical game, the number one thing you must do first in order to get your ideal physical body, okay? Uh, I'm also going to go with, uh, I'm going to give you the number one reason the majority of people never reach their, you know, fitness goals, right? And then the last thing is the spiritual game, understanding the importance of having the spiritual growth and its crucial aspect to becoming the best version of you. So those are some of the stuff I'm going to be going over today. Becoming the best version of you. Let's begin this journey. Thank you for liking this. Thank you for retweeting this. Um, first thing I want you all to know is to share this, all right? I want you to share this with your audience right now. Go ahead and share it. Let everyone know you're watching the best version of you webinar, completely free, um, and they can get on. It's going to be amazing, okay? It's going to be amazing. I'm maxed out here. Oh, no, I have 88 people online here, and I have like seven people online here, four here right now. Um, so I'm really excited. Let's get to it. Let's pump it up. I'm going to share my screen. Those of you who are watching on my webinar, you're going to be able to see my screen. If you guys want to see my screen, let me know. In, in the meantime, you're just going to be looking at my face. Hopefully that's not a bad view, right? Right? <laughs> Hopefully it's not a bad view. So let's do this. I'm going to share my screen now. Let me know when you can see it. Um, oh, that's my camera. Let me know when you guys can see my screen, okay? Boom. Bam, you should be able to see my screen. I'm just gonna make sure you guys can see my screen here. Let's see. Becoming the best version of you. Do you guys wanna see my screen? Everyone here who's watching now, do you wanna see my screen? Would you rather me talk to you or would you rather watch the actual presentation that I'm, I'm going over? Let me know down here, okay? Yeah, awesome, so you guys can see the screen. Let's do this, let me know if you guys wanna see it, okay? So becoming the best version of you, I have a question that I want to ask you today. The question is this, are you becoming the best version of yourself today? Are you? Tonight's hashtag is BVY, best version of you, right? BVY, movement. Okay, I forgot the T on the screen here, um, but it's B as in boy, V as in Victor, Y, movement. That's the hashtag for tonight. I want you to use this hashtag if in fact, you get an aha moment, a light bulb goes off, you get excited about something, you wanna share it, whatever it is. In fact, retweet this and put a hashtag BVY movement. Take a picture of me and put BVY movement. Say, I'm excited to be at the BVY movement webinar, okay? Hashtag it now. Tag me on Facebook if you have me on Facebook. Tag me on Twitter if you have me on Twitter. That's the hashtag for the night that I want you to use. I'm gonna try to speed through this so we can get through the intense content that I have for you tonight and you can still uh, digest it 
as well as get, leave early and enjoy the rest of your Thursday night, okay? So let's have some fun, man. Are we gonna have some fun or what? <clears throat> Check this out, okay? Who's this for, okay? This is for the thinkers, all right? This is for the people who have constantly been thinking about why they aren't where they wanna be. Who think about what if life could be like this? What if my life was like that? The thinkers who are just constantly thinking about their life. If you're a thinker, this is for you, okay? It's also for the people who wonder, I put the wonderers. <laughs> the people who wonder, wonder why their life is what it is. Wonder why they are where they are today. The people who wonder if there's more to life. If you're a wonderer, this is for you. This is also for the people who are wanters, okay? If you want more, you're sitting here and you're saying, I want more out of life. I feel stuck, I want more, give me more. If that's you, this is also for you. Does anyone here want to actually see my screen? The people on Meerkat? Those of you who are watching this on the webinar, put some comments below. Let me know if you resonate with any of these three and uh, that way you know this is for you. If you're not any of these people, right, then this is probably not for you because all I'm doing today is talking about helping you start the journey in becoming the best version of yourself. So today, you're gonna discover three things. The mind game, okay? I'm gonna be talking about three reasons why most people never maximize the opportunity of being alive, because it is an opportunity. The opportunity of being alive to help them become the best version of themselves. I'm gonna talk about the physical game, man, getting these muscles up, right, getting fit. The number one thing you must do first in order to start getting your ideal physical body, along with the number one reason majority of people never ever reach it. I'm also gonna talk about the spiritual game, okay? Understanding the importance of having spiritual growth and its crucial aspect to becoming the best version of yourself. I promise you, it won't get weird, okay? I promise. But these are, this is really important, okay? This is what you're gonna discover. If you don't wanna be here for that, then feel free to leave. Leave some room for someone else who actually does wanna be here, okay? So let's move on to the next thing here. Becoming the best version of you, of yourself, right? Mentally, physically, spiritually. Remember the hashtag is BVY movement, all right? Thank you for liking this and for retweeting this. Those of you here on Meerkat, I appreciate you. You guys the bomb like tick, tick, boom. <laughs> all right, so let's move on. Okay, if you stay all the way until the end, how would you like a Q&A, all right? I'm gonna give you guys a Q&A where you can ask me any question and I'll give you the answers, okay? Whether it's something that you're going through personally or you know someone going through it, or let's say you just have a question about something that I talked about or some comments you wanna leave, okay? And I'm also gonna be giving, literally giving away a breakthrough session with, with me. What this means, I'm gonna do a one-on-one -on -one call with you, literally one-on-one, -on -one, and I call it a breakthrough session because most of the times that people get on this call with me, they are experiencing an immediate breakthrough in their life. So if you want a breakthrough session with me, stick all the way until the end, man. We're gonna have some fun, okay? So let me know if this sounds familiar. Have you ever asked yourself, how did I get here? How in the world did I get here? Have you ever asked yourself that? How did I get here? Have you ever asked yourself, when is blank going to happen? When is this gonna happen? How long do I have to continue to suffer or struggle? When is my breakthrough? When is it going to happen? Have you ever asked yourself that? When is it going to happen? Have you ever asked yourself, was I born this way? Was I just born this way? Someone here on Meerkat said, yes, I have. That's awesome, I appreciate your honesty. How about anyone here on the webinar? Have you ever asked yourself any of these questions? Does it sound familiar? Awesome, cool, sky's a wanter, cool. I mean, listen, 
I ask you, because if you've asked yourself these questions, you are on the right channel, man. You're on the right webinar. Okay, this is gonna be freaking amazing. You're not alone, man. You aren't alone. There are tons of people right now struggling with the very same thing, thinking, wondering why, wanting more out of life. You're looking at one of them. You're hearing one of them. I was one of them. I was one of them. I was constantly thinking, wondering, wanting, asking those same questions. When is it going to happen? How long? How did I get here? How much more time, right? I'm one of them. You're not alone in this, man. You're not alone in this. I can totally relate to you. And I'll share with you a few stories later, right? But this feeling, I know it can feel frustrating and sometimes it could even feel hopeless, right or wrong, right? It can feel hopeless. Knowing that you aren't where you wanna be sucks. Hopeless, man. I hate that feeling. It's frustrating knowing that you aren't being what you want to be. It's frustrating knowing you don't have what you want to have or give what you want to give, right or wrong. It is so frustrating knowing you aren't where you want to be, you aren't being what you want to be, and you don't have what you want to have or able to give what you want to give. Am I preaching to the wall or preaching to the choir, right? Is this true or what? How frustrating is that? Frustrating, waking up, frick, still not here. You wake up and you still see the same freaking life. You're working your ass off. You're pushing through. You're, you're going through the challenges, going through the obstacles, and still, you aren't where you want to be. How frustrating is that? Can anyone relate to this? Can anyone relate to this? Look, here's what I have, okay? I don't want you to worry, because tonight you're going to become the best version of you. Tonight you're becoming the best version of you. Tonight you're gonna make the decision to be the best version of you. I want you to imagine yourself as the best version of yourself. Listen, I want you to imagine this. Imagine you're confident. Imagine you have a high, valued self-worth. Ain't nobody stepping on you, pushing, pushing you over, right? Imagine you're constantly positive about everything. Nothing can throw you off. Imagine that you feel and look healthy. You're dressed with purpose. You're strong and alive. Constantly Damn, sorry about that, okay? You're strong and alive, constantly loving this world, growing spiritually. You're free. You're giving abundantly. Money flows to you and through you, allowing you to do whatever you want, give whatever you want, and go wherever you want. How does it feel to be the best version of yourself? How does it feel to be the best version of yourself? Did you guys imagine that? Did anyone imagine that? Did anyone imagine that? Imagine being the best version of yourself. How did it feel? Put it in the comments below. Let me know if it was liberating. Let me know if that excited you. Let me know. And I want you to know something. Thank you for liking this. I want you to know 
yes, yes, you can do this. You can do this. Even if you've never done it before. Even if you think you can't. Even if it seems far away. Yes, you can do this. Thank you for commenting. I appreciate it. You can do this. I believe in you. I believe in you so much. And I want you to understand that. You guys are so awesome. I appreciate you being here, man. Give me one second. Give me one second. All right, cool. Right? I believe in you guys, man. Does it sound like a dream, though? Does it sound like a dream to be the best version of yourself, have everything you've ever wanted? Does it sound like a dream? I agree. I mean, I, I used to think it was a dream, too. I thought life was what was given to me. Right? You wake up, you do what you have to do, you go to sleep, you wake up, you do what you have to do, you go to sleep. It's just what life is given. Right? Can anyone agree to that? This is what I thought life was. I thought it was too good to be true, to be able to do what I want, when I want, wherever I want, with whoever I want. To have the right kind of mindset, to look good, feel good, to give, to do whatever. I thought it was a dream. Until I realized something. I realized that when I go to the beach, the water still comes in and out like clockwork. Still comes in and out like clockwork. And I said, this ocean is abundance. Like there's so much ocean. People in this world, it's abundance. There's so many people. And that's when I started to realize we were made and created to have abundance, an abundance, an overflow of anything and everything. It's time to stop making this dream a dream and start making it our reality. You see, this, we can't control the circumstances that we're born into. You can't control that. However, the moment you have the ability to choose, your circumstances no longer determine where you end up. Did you get that? Catch it before it's too late. I'm gonna say it one more time, okay? We can't control the circumstances we're born into, but the moment that you have the ability to choose, Circumstances no longer determine where you end up. No longer. Has no control. Seriously. No control over where you end up. Because now you have the ability to choose. Powerful stuff, man. The good news is this, though. Okay? I'm gonna show you how I did it. How I have been able to make choices to create an ideal lifestyle. But every time I reach a level, I want more because my father taught me to be content, never complacent, always go for more. See, the trick is becoming the best version of yourself will never happen till the day you die. However, I don't want to die looking back saying I could have been better. So I want to be the best version of myself. There's this vision and an image I have of me as the best version of me. And every day I'm looking forward to getting closer to that. And as I get closer to it, it evolves, it grows. I want to become better. But I'm going to show you how I have been able to create a lifestyle that seemed like a dream, how I made it my reality. And if you give me the chance, 
I want to keep you accountable towards your best version of you. If you give me the chance, I'd like to keep you accountable. Does that make sense? So who am I, right? Who am I really? I'm going to share my screen again over here. Check this out, right? Boom. All right, I'm going to let you guys see this too, okay? So check this out. So who am I really, right? Who is this chick? <laughs> well, there was a time where I went on a limb to fulfill my purpose. Okay, here's what I mean. There was a time in my life where I felt I wasn't living in the purpose I felt God created me. And I said, you know what? I think I can do more. I think I can be more. I can have more. I can give more. And I literally resigned from the only income source that I had. And I went full time in developing my purpose on the internet. And I went broke. <laughs> it was the scariest time of my life. I went five months back up in rent. Married to my husband. Thank you for retweeting this. Thank you for liking this. And... <laughs> I remember digging through hampers to find change in my pockets so I can buy food. I went on a limb to fulfill my purpose. And I don't regret it. Because ever since making that decision, I have been walking in the purpose I've been created for. This right here, me speaking to you, is my purpose. If it wasn't for me making that decision, going to the lowest of lows in my life, getting kicked out of my apartment, having nowhere to go, right? If it wasn't for me making that decision, what's up, Paseik? Right? Someone in Meerkat saying they're, they're in the house, Paseik, right? If I never did that, I wouldn't be sitting here having this conversation with you. And I survived it, being five months backed up in rent, married to my husband, getting kicked out, I survived it. From there, I went to making seven to $12,000 a month online. That's what I did. I went from being broke to making money online. Seven to $12,000 a month online. I began designing my body the way I'd like. I said, you know what? I wanna get more tone. I wanna get more lean. I want my abs to be a little bit more defined. And I began designing my body because I started to realize that I don't wanna just be a being taking up space and sucking up air in this world. If I have a body, I wanna use it effectively. If I was created to breathe and given another day of life, I wanna use another day effectively. And currently, I'm building my dream. My dream is to help people all over the world become the best version of themselves, mentally, physically, and spiritually. How am I going to do that? I'm going to do that by every gift God has given me, every platform. So if it's through speaking, it's speaking. One of my favorite gifts that I have is acting. And I have it, I'm so passionate about it. I want to use that platform to do the same thing. I'm currently building my dream. This is who I am. This is what I've gone through. I'm gonna share a little bit more of my story to you guys. Okay, so check this out. I started with very humble beginnings, right? This is me when I was little, my little cat. That's my dad there, right? I was born in Bayonne, New Jersey. I lived there till I was about two. My parents divorced. What's up, how you doing? And, um, you know, I was born not into extreme wealth. I was born middle class, right? I grew up in the martial arts, competing, teaching classes, being self-developed. And then I got married. And through all the lessons that I've learned in my entire life thus far is unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Everything that I've gone through in my life has all happened to prepare me 
for who I am today. My father is a very key component. The martial arts is a key component. My mom is a key component. My husband's a key component, right? Everything, everything that I've gone through has all helped me today. And I'm gonna explain to you a little bit more about, about what I've gone through. I just wanna see how everyone here on the webinar is doing. <clears throat> so check this out, okay? I wanted to succeed so bad, man. I wanted to succeed so bad. I had like this burning desire within me to want more, to do more, to be more, to have more, to give more, to live more, to be free. I had this burning desire. Can anyone here relate to that? Or is Sky the only one commenting, right? Does anyone relate to this? I wanted to succeed so bad. And I remember being in the martial arts, taking every challenge that I was going through in the martial arts, you know, push-ups, sit-ups, right? All these things, breaking bricks, fighting. I take every, every challenge that I was going through in the martial arts and I would relate it to my life. And I say, if I give up on this push-up, this is me giving up on my life. So I took it so seriously because I wanted to succeed so badly. And it wasn't until I got serious and I made a decision. Once I made the decision and got serious, my life began to change. And it was on my birthday, not too long ago, November 19th, uh, this past year in 2014, my birthday. I had turned 23 and I was watching the movie Selena. Anyone know what the movie Selena is, right? Selena, right? I was watching that movie. I had seen that movie when I was a child. It was my favorite, right? I love the way JLo played her. She's my favorite. Selena was one of my favorite stars. It was what ignited this feeling of wanting to inspire this world. And I was, I, I turned 23 and I was flipping through the channels and the movie was on. I said, you know what? I haven't watched this in ages. I'm gonna watch the movie. So I'm sitting there watching the movie and I, it gets to the part to the end where she dies. And when you're a kid, you don't realize how old she was. I didn't at least, I didn't realize how old she was. I just thought to myself, you know, this is a, an adult. Thank you for liking this and retweeting this. I appreciate you. And I realized that she died when she was 24. She was young. She was freaking 24 when she died. And I said to myself, this woman has impacted millions of people all around the world using the gifts and passions inside of her at the age of 24. And I sat there and I said to myself, I'm 23. How many lives have I been impacting? Not nearly as much. And I realized I needed to get serious. That yeah, the Mexican American artist. I realized that I have tons of gifts, tons of ideas, tons of desires within me that are just sitting there. They're just sitting there. They aren't doing anything. So I said, what if I used everything within me, developed it, built it up to the next level, inspired and impacted this world as much as possible so that when I go, people are still talking about me years after. I realized I was wasting time. Here's a woman at the age of 24 who died, impacted millions of lives. Doesn't it make you wonder what she would have done 10 years from now if she was still alive? What do you, how many more lives she would have impacted if she still was alive? And we have people here who are older than 24, right? Who have lived much longer and haven't done much on this earth that she would have loved 
to have that extra time. I realized I needed to make a decision. That happened on my birthday from watching <laughs> a movie that I've seen my entire life of a woman I admired. And it changed me instantly. It changed me from the inside out. I began to do everything different. Thank you for retweeting this and liking this. I appreciate all of you so much for being here. I love you so much. So here's what I'm gonna be going over today. Ever since I made that decision, I decided I'm gonna do whatever it takes to become the best version of me so I can help this world become the best versions of themselves. So we're gonna get started. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is the mental game. That mental game, man, that mind game, yo. <laughs> Everything starts with the mind, everything. Everything was first a thought before it was actually manifested. Here's an example. Freaking meerkat, bro. <laughs> meerkat itself. Think about this, okay? Meerkat is an app you can put on your phone and you can live stream. I am currently streaming from my home to people all over the world. I've had 109 people come, come to the meerkat already. Eight, nine are on here right now live, okay? Think about this. Meerkat was first a thought, it was an idea. Somebody said, yo, what if I can create something where people can live stream from their phone directly all over the world? How can I do this? It was an idea. They started talking about it, building off of it, sharing it with people to help them create it. And suddenly, Meerkat is manifested. Think of Facebook. An idea was first. It was a thought in someone's mind. Has a, has a group discussion with some of his boys in college. Few people decide to help him, few people don't. Becomes a multi-billion dollar company. It manifested. Think of car. Think of anything revolutionary. Anything. It was first a thought. It was in the mind before it actually manifested. Write this down. Do you know what this means for you? It means that everything you want, stop thinking about it. it, it the beginning is here, but now you got to start talking about it. Now you got to start taking action on it because everything you see manifested was first a thought. So the more you start thinking about the things that you want, you start talking about the things that you want, you're going to start getting the things you want. This is encouraging to know that the most revolutionary things in this world were first conceived in the mind. How powerful is that? How exciting is that? Does that get anyone else excited? That gets me pumped up, man. <laughs> right, so check this out. Write this down, okay? Three reasons why most people never, ever maximize the opportunity of being alive to help them become the best versions of themselves. Here's the first one. Because people think we got time. People all over this world, I'm guilty of it. You're definitely guilty of it. We're all definitely guilty of it because we're human beings. We think we have time. Biggest deception that there is. The biggest deception. We don't got time. See, time is an illusion. If I say uh, 73 fats, right, at 73 fats, who's that? I don't even know who that is, right? Uh, if I say to you, right, if I say to you, dude, I say, yo, being, three, being alive on this earth three years, is that a long time? Yes or no? Being alive on this earth, is it a long time? Yes or no? No, it's not. Picture a three-year-old boy or a three-year-old kid, right? No, it's not a long time. But if I say three years in prison, is that a long time? Hell yeah, absolutely that is a long time. Three years in prison is a long time. Think about that. The same amount of time, three years, the same amount of time, different circumstances, 
three years alive, three years in prison. So time is fake. It is the situations that bring, bring about the feeling of, oh, this is long. Oh, this is short. Oh, this is taking forever. It is the situation that creates the measurement of time. But dude, time is an illusion. It's fake. It doesn't even exist. So for you to measure your success or the want of success with time is probably something you can't trust. Can we agree on that? It's not a realistic measurement. Time is an illusion. It's phony. It's fake. The other thing about time that gets us is this. Oh, but I can do it tomorrow. Oh, but I'll get to it eventually. No. No. You don't even know if tomorrow's going to happen. You have no idea. You have no idea if you are given another opportunity to be alive. You don't know. So here's how you shift the mindset. Imagine, I'm gonna pick somebody out here in the audience, Brittany Willow. Thank you for being here, girl. Appreciate you. Imagine Brittany, I say, hey, Brittany, I have a gift for you. And Brittany says, what's up? What is it? And I say, here, open it, right? I'm gonna, here, let me pretend this is it. Brittany, open it. Brittany opens it. She says, what is this? I say, it's day. It's day. She goes, day? I go, yeah, this is day. This is day? Don't you think she's going to go, what do I do with day? What in the world am I supposed to do with day? Do I let it sit there? Do I put it on a shelf? Do I let it collect dust? Do I show it to people? Do I give it to people? What do I do? No, this isn't a religious thing, man. Victor, you got here a little bit late. It's okay, man. This is called becoming the best version of yourself. And all I'm talking about is how to become the best version of yourself. And right now I'm going over three reasons why people never maximize the opportunity of being alive to help them become the best version of themselves. So let's go back to this, right? So imagine you have this gift of day and you're like, what do I do with it? Do I let it sit here and collect dust? Do I give it to people? Do I share it? What do I do? Can you imagine every day you, wo you woke up and you asked that? Wow, I have another day. What do I do with today? Do I give it to people? Do I share? What do I do with today? Imagine if today was a tangible thing. See, the, the fact that you cannot hold being alive, you can't hold it, seems as though it's going to be here forever. It isn't true. It's not gonna be here forever. Imagine if you woke up every day asking yourself, why did God give me another gift for today? Why the heck am I alive? Because let me tell you something, if there's no reason for you to be alive, you would have been dead. You wouldn't have woken up. So the fact that we are all here alive, there has to be some freaking reason that we are alive. There has to be one. Just one. So if we only have today, don't think about tomorrow. If you only have today, doesn't it make you wonder, what do I need to do with today? What am I supposed to use today for? Because if I'm not supposed to use it for anything, I wouldn't have been given it. We have to eliminate the concept of we have time. That is the reason, one of the reasons, most people never maximize the opportunity of being alive. That must change. You wanna become the best version of yourself? That's one of the first things that needs to change. By the way, you're watching Becoming the Best Version of Yourself webinar. If you get an aha moment, you wanna share something, I want you to put it on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, I don't care. Hashtag BVY, best version of you, right? BVY movement, hashtag BVY movement let everyone know you're watching the best version of you all right tonight okay 
Number two, write this down. The second thing, let me check how my webinar people are doing, right? I got people on Meerkat watching, and I got people here. Wow, I never looked at the reverse aspect of that. Hey, man, I appreciate you, man. Thank you, Scott, for commenting, right? I got, I got more people commenting here on Meerkat. <laughs> it's so weird. So check this out, man, right? Here's number two. The fuel that is being used to run the mind is polluting it. Write that down. The fuel that you're using to run your mind is polluting it. Here's what I mean, okay? Whatever you're putting in your mind, man, it's what's gonna control it. Here's what I heard before, I heard this before. A man said, whatever you consume, no, whatever you uh, use or whatever you listen to, whatever you do on your downtime is what consumes the mind. The Bible says, out of the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. Okay? So the fuel you're using to grow your mind is polluting it. So that has to ask the question. That should, that should bring about the question, what am I putting in my mind? It, is it things that are actually going to help me get to the better version of myself or not? Most of the times it's not. For most people, that's the reason why they're not maximizing the opportunity of being alive. They're putting junk in there. Stuff that isn't going to bring them up, put them down. They're hanging around people that aren't lifting them up. They're putting them down. Things that they're listening to, watching, hearing, doing, are all things that are polluting the mind. And so if it's polluting the mind, what's gonna happen? They're gonna act the way that they think. They're going to be the way that they think, which is why most people do not maximize the opportunity of being alive. Are you getting it? Is it hitting you yet? So that has to, it makes you wonder, what should I start putting in my mind? What kind of fuel should I use for this engine, the mind, for it to run properly? Great minds have purposes, others have wishes. Very good, by Washington Irving. Great minds have purposes, others have wishes. And that's the difference. But how do you take a mind that has wishes and give it purpose, the fuel. What are you feeding your mind? What are you reading? What are you looking at? What are you listening to? Who are you hanging around? If you wanna become the best version of yourself, you must start protecting that mind. Hey, retweet this, like this, share this, share this with people, let everyone know you're watching the best version of, of you, okay? Number three, write this down. You're living life on autopilot. Just wake up. If I ask you, right, if I were to pick on anyone in the audience, if I were to ask you and I say, hey, what's your routine? Do you have an answer? What's your routine? Do you have an answer? Is it, oh, well, I wake up, I brush my teeth, and then go to work, and then whatever. Or is it, no, I wake up at 5.30 in the morning every day, I put praise and worship music on, I listen to three songs, get up, take my vitamin, have some water, get in my workout clothes, go to the gym, depending on the day, depends on the training I'm doing. I do my training for about an hour and a half, I come back home, I shower, I do my power couple show, I read three books, I journal, and then, I begin my work, whatever that contains for that day. Three o'clock, come back home, take my rest. And enjoy the night with my family. Like, do you have a routine? Do you have a system? If you are allowing life to govern what you're doing, you're living life on complete autopilot. Which then happens, this is what it leads to. 
You don't recognize opportunity. It becomes, how many of you guys ever heard this? Hey, what's up? How, how's your day? Eh, just another day. How many of you ever heard that response? That's like the worst response you can give. Number one, it's not just another day. Have you ever lived on June 25th, 2015 at 7.45 p.m. Eastern? No. You haven't. This is the first time you lived on this day. So it's not just another day. It's only just another day when you're on complete autopilot. You're just allowing life to do life rather than you creating life, being purposeful about life building life. There's a huge difference, y'all. Complete difference. But you have to understand how to create that difference. So here's what you need to do. Number one, shift your mind into the now. Get rid of all procrastination. Get rid of I have tomorrow. Shift your mind into now. Now is the time. Today is the moment. This is all I have. And I'm going to do everything I can with what I have now. Make that commitment. Shift your mind into now. Number two, apply the formula be, do, have. Again, apply the formula be, do, have. And this formula, I know Sky loves this formula. This formula is this. A lot of people think they need to have a certain resource in order to do something so that they can be what they want. When really, you need to start being what you want now, start doing what you need to do to have what you wanna have. You must be the change you wish to see in the world. Word up. <laughs> I agree. I totally agree, right? Be, do, have is probably the best formula. Guys, I'm gonna raise the AC real quick, so just give me one second, all right? It's getting hot in here. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. All right. And then the third thing you need to do is weed out your mental garden. Weed it out. Your mind, picture your mind like a garden, okay? Picture you. You are like a plant. If you aren't growing, the only other thing that a plant does is die. Right? If you're not growing, you're definitely dying. There's no other, op there's no other option, okay? So you have to weed out your mental garden. I want you to imagine that every negative thought you have, what happens is that consumes you. So you have to weed out the negativity and replace it with positive things. So if you're listening to constant negative music and you're wondering why you're in a bad mood, hmm, well, duh, change what you're listening to. If you have to change who you're hanging out with, change it. You need to weed it out. You want to become the best version of you? It starts here. Everything you see was first conceived in the mind. It was a thought first before it manifested. So in order for things to grow, you got to weed it out. What do weeds do in a garden? They kill the plants. Think about that. You want to grow, start replacing the negative concepts with positivity, simple. Now we're gonna move on to the physical game, all right? Enough mental talk, right? <laughs> so let me, let's get into the physical talk, right? How do you get the abs? How do we get fit? How do we look good, right? Let's get into the physical game. Understand this, it's impossible for me to talk about the physical game until you understand this. Your body is a reflection of your thought process inside. No joke. No joke. This is the truth. This is the God's honest truth. I can sit down and talk to someone, right? It, with what you're given, by the way, with what you're given. Okay, so if you're born with certain conditions, obviously you can't help certain things. But the way you treat what you're given is a reflection of the way you think. I was having a conversation with someone today. And I asked this person, I said to them, I want you to be honest with me. Tell me, in one word, how do you think of yourself? 
And, and this person said, disgusting. And I was shocked. I was shocked that they were that honest. I was shocked that this person actually thinks of themselves as disgusting. I asked this person, is this the first time you said this out loud? They said, yeah. I said, so you've been thinking this. This person thinks they are disgusting, thinks that they are unworthy, thinks they are incapable of change. They are actually afraid of the change. This is what they told me. And this person has been battling physically, unable to change their physical look and, is, and wants to. So it's very easy to see the way someone looks, whether they're fit, whether they're unfit. It is a direct reflection of the thought process in their mind. Some people say, well, I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose weight or I'm just skinny. This is just how I am. That's their thought process. This is their belief. So their body is a reflection of that belief system. Seriously. My sister, she's like skinny as a toothpick, okay? She's like so thin. She really believes that she has a hard time gaining weight and she probably does. But if you monitor it correctly and you understand how to do it, you can do it. So her body's a reflection of that belief system. She thinks she's incapable of it. And it's not true. All of us are more than capable of designing the body that we want. It's possible. So understand that, write that down. Your body is a reflection of the thought process inside. So here's the number one thing you need to do first in order to get your ideal body, okay? In order to get the guns, right? The abs, right? All this stuff, all, the, all that sexy stuff, right? <laughs> you don't have to get it. You may not want it. Maybe you just want to be fit and healthy. That's fine. But in order to get to that ideal physical body, the first thing you need to do is get clear. Get clear, man. So many people just want something and they are totally unclear. Here's what I mean by that. Here are three questions you need to ask yourself to get completely clear about how you want to look, the physical body. Here's what it is, ready? Write these questions down. What do you want? What do you want? What kind of body do you want? What does it look like? Get so descriptive, right? Yeah, get so descriptive. Get so descriptive. What is it that you want? What do you want to look like? What do you want to be like, right? What's your weight? What's your, what can you lift? Get, tell me what you want in depth. Don't just be like, oh, I want to be fit. No, tell me what you want. I want this body fat percentage. I want to be this weight. I want to be able to lift this way. I want to have stamina that allows me to run X amount of miles. I want to be able to work out every single day and not have to feel like it's a burden. I want to be able to do X, Y, and Z. I want to be able to see my toes again, like whatever it is. I want to be shredded. I want to have, just tell me, what is it that you want? Get so clear. Get so in depth. What do you want? Second question, why do you want it? Why do you want it? Why? Well, because I want to look good. But why? Go deep. Why the heck do you want to look good? Why? Well, because I want to feel good. But why? I want you to go deeper and deeper into that why until you really have nothing left. And even then, keep going. Get so clear. What do you want? Why do you want it? Here's the third thing. What are you willing to do to get it? What are you willing to do to get it? People are never clear about this. I just want to be fit. Okay. Why do you want to be fit? What is fit? Your definition of fit is completely different from their definition of fit. So what is fit? What's up from Alaska? How you doing? Remember guys, use the hashtag BVY movement. BVY, best version of you, right? BVY movement, okay? If you're sharing this on social media, that'd be great. So get clear. What are you willing to do to get it? If you're not even clear on what you're willing to do, this is why most people give up on their journey to being fit anyway. 
because they aren't even clear on what they're willing to do to go out there and get it. Does that make sense, y'all? This is so true, man. Get clear, okay? Here's the number one reason why the majority of people never reach their fitness goals. You ready? Lack of education, not motivation, education. People think they can out-train bad eating habits. So many people start their fitness journey and think that if they just move, they're gonna start losing weight. Oh, we'll just go for a walk every day, right? Oh, let me just get on my treadmill. I'm just gonna start a kickboxing class. I'm gonna do some Zumba and I'll be fine. B-V-Y, the movement. So it, it's, it's actually B-V-Y, movement. B, V as in Victor, Y, movement. That's it, hashtag B-V-Y, movement. Thank you, I appreciate that, okay? People don't understand that you cannot out-train bad eating habits. It's wrong. It's impossible. You have to eat correctly and work out correctly to get to the level you want to get to. Thank you for liking this. I appreciate you. So how do we do that? How do you eat correctly? Thank you for retweeting this, Natasha. I, I appreciate you, girl. Okay? How do you do this? How do you understand this? Educate yourself. Educate yourself on what is necessary to eat. What is it? Thank you for retweeting this, man. I really appreciate you. You guys are awesome. Okay? Understand that. Easy for you, though. I've done a lot of the work. So if you guys decide that you want me to keep you accountable, I can show you what you need to do. I can show you what you need to do to keep yourself, your mental game up, your physical game up, and the spiritual game up. Let's get into the spiritual game, right? We're all created to worship. Seriously, every one of us longs to worship. However, what are we worshiping? Are we worshiping the television? Are we worshiping money? Are we worshiping sex? Are we worshiping, you know, people, careers? Whether you agree or disagree, we all long to put energy and focus into something until we achieve it, we uplift it. It becomes almost like our idol. Every human being has that desire. Sometimes it's themselves. They worship themselves. So the question it brings is, what are we worshiping? We should be worshiping Jesus. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to get weird. <laughs> I'll tell you what my diet looks like in a minute. Okay, Natasha? I promise you. All right? Well, I'll just, I'll just explain it to you now. Natasha asked a question. Those of you who are watching on the webinar, Natasha from SoCal says, you know, what does my nutrition look like? What does my diet look like? Okay? In order to get to the body I need to, I had to completely minimize my carb intake and increase my protein intake to a level I have never done before. So currently, on a normal day, and I say normal, meaning when I'm not on a high carb day or a low carb day, on my normal day, I'm only allowed to have 68 grams of carbs. If you calculate 68 grams of carbs, that's literally like uh, three slices of bread. That's the amount of carbs I can have in a day. In fact, a McFlurry, overpowers it. A slice of pizza over, overpowers it. So it's a really low carb diet and I have to have about 209 carbs, I mean a uh, protein in a single day. Yeah, about 135, 209 grams of protein in a single day. That's a high gram, that's a high protein, right? And so that's for me to get completely shredded. So that's kind of like what my diet looks like. And everyone here, right, who wants to understand how many you know uh, grams of protein how many grams of fat and how many grams of carbs that they need in their diet that's individualized and i can help you create that okay so i'm going to go back what's up chelsea how you doing thank you for liking this thank you for retweeting this this webinar is about helping you become the best version of yourself we just finished going over the mental game how to become mentally amazing right and we also talked about fitness right we, we talked about how to be physically fit okay and you need to be completely clear before we can actually get into that. Are you familiar with Freely, a.k.a. Banana Girl? No. I would be curious to hear your thoughts sometimes about her lifestyle. You know? Well, it all depends. Some, look, some people, right, have a flexible eating diet, which that's what I do. 
On a high carb day, I can have a little bit more carbs. So then I can go out and have a slice of pizza. I can have maybe a donut, right? Depending on the day, okay? But that's only for those who are actually meeting their macros. As long as you're counting your macros, you'll be able to actually uh, be flexible with what you're eating, okay? That's awesome, cool. So I'm not on a low carb diet, I'm on a carb cycling diet, okay? What that means is that I'll have a high carb day, low carb day, high carb day, low carb day, high carb day, low carb day. What that does is that it tricks the body into thinking you're not on a diet. It also increases your metabolism and it's fun, you know, it keeps you, it makes you feel like you're not on a diet. So um, some people will, will have a donut some days, some people, and you're fine, but you just have to calculate the macros. So if I, for example, if I'm allowed to have 100 grams of carbs, right, and let's say a slice of pizza is 60 grams of carbs, I can have that slice of pizza because it meets that macronutrient, okay? Um, that's just an example, all right? But I'm going to go back here to the spiritual side, okay, the spiritual game. All right, we went over the mind game, we went over the physical game. Let's get into the spiritual game here. All right, understand that everybody was created to worship. What is it that you're worshiping though? Some people may disagree with this, but it's totally true. Think about it. We all idolize something, whether it's ourselves, money, food, uh, television, materialistic things, uh, people, sex, whatever it is. It's just a natural longing. It's a desire as a human being that we have. So here's what you need to understand. Either your flesh is going to lead your life, and to be honest with you, I can't trust it. Because if we could all trust our flesh to lead our life, we would be perfect. We would be perfect, but we're not. We're perfectly imperfect. That's what the flesh does. Or the spirit can lead. And our spirit men are perfect beings. It's what drives, it's like our intuition. That's what longs to worship. It's what desires to be more like Christ. I don't know about you, but I'd rather have my spirit man lead over my flesh. Meditation is good. That's right. Thank you for saying that, Peekaboo. <laughs> I like your username. <laughs> All right, so check that out, right? You got to ask yourself, what are you willing to let lead? Is it your flesh or your spirit man? What do you want to lead your life? What do you want to govern your life? If you can get your spirit man leading your life, imagine how much more powerful your mind and your body become. If you get these three areas of your life in sync, you begin to become the best version of yourself. So I encourage you to find something to keep your spirit alive. If you're curious about what I do, I will tell you. Every morning, I wake up and I put praise and worship music on. I listen to three songs just to get me alive. And I start immediately beginning my day with thanksgiving. I immediately start thanking God for another day. Just thank you, God. No matter what problems or challenges are going on in my life, I don't like to start off my day that way. I immediately just glorify God for giving me another day of life. And every day, to the best of my ability, I get out my Bible and I read it and I journal. I journal my prayers. You're welcome. I appreciate that. And I go to church. That's the foundation of my spiritual growth. Once my spirit is free, I feel that peace, man. I feed my mind the right thing. I start talking the right way. I start being active, being fit. When you start moving your body, motion creates emotion. These are the three areas you must focus on to become the best version of yourself. And you will find that the moment you start growing those three areas, financially your life begins to change too. Amazing. Amazing. It's beautiful. Are you guys ready to become the best version of yourself? I hope so. Because what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give you guys something I've never done before. Usually people say, Cassandra, help me create a fitness plan. Cassandra, help me mentally. I keep doubting myself. 
I keep finding myself stuck. Cassandra, I need your help. And I say, sure, let's get on a breakthrough session. I call them breakthrough sessions because when I get with people, they get their breakthrough. And so what happens is I charge them $197 to have this breakthrough session. But tonight, I said, you know what? Today, I'm not going to charge anything. I'm going to give you this breakthrough session completely free. Thank you so much, James. I appreciate you. God bless you, man. I appreciate you. Okay? I'm going to give it to you completely free. What does this mean? I'm literally going to get on a call with you, just me and you. And I'm going to have you go through a few questions just so I can get to know you. I want to know what you want out of life. What goals do you aspire to have? I'm going to talk about a game plan on how I can help you get there. That's what I'm going to do. Completely free. In fact, you're going to see a button. Those of you on Meerkat, the button's going to show up at the end of this broadcast. Those of you on my webinar, the button shows up in just a few seconds. And when you click on the button, it's going to take you to a website that you have to fill out. And it's going to say $197 at the bottom. But if you put the coupon code B as in boy, V as in Victor, Y, B, becoming, V, or actually B as in best, right? The best, right? So B as in best, V as in version, Y as in you, best version of you. If you put that coupon code B, V, Y, you will get the, the breakthrough session completely free. <laughs> That's okay, peekaboo. <laughs> it's all good. All right, so you, you literally get a breakthrough session completely free with me. And it's not going to be about Jesus. It's not going to be about God. It's going to be about you. What do you want? I want you to tell me how you see the best version of yourself being. I want you to tell me how you want to become, right? I want you to tell me what challenges you have, how long you've been having those challenges. And I'm gonna help you work through that. That's what I'm gonna do on this breakthrough session. And if you like the breakthrough session that much, I'm gonna give you an opportunity, if you allow, for me to keep you accountable. I'm gonna keep you accountable towards that. I'm going to give you that opportunity. And if you want it, you can take it. Because I have a program called Becoming the Best Version of Yourself. And I'm only opening it to 10 people. Only 10. The program starts July 5th. And I will explain to you what that program is like on our breakthrough session. So if you want that breakthrough session, at the end of this broadcast, you need to click on that button. It will take you to a website. It's going to ask you for $197, and you're going to put the coupon code BVY, best version of you, BVY. And you won't pay a single thing. It'll be completely free, and you get to get this breakthrough session with me, and I'll explain to you exactly how I want to help you become the best version of yourself, and if, in fact, you want to be a part of this program starting July 5th. Guys, I hope you had an amazing time with me. I loved you guys. You guys are the bomb, like tick, tick, boom, right? I hope you guys had an awesome time. I appreciate you being here. Those of you on Meerkat, you guys are the bomb for sticking out all the way through. I'm going to end this broadcast now, and you guys can click on that button, put in the coupon code BVY, get your free breakthrough session with me, and let's get things going. I want to help you guys become the best version of you. I love you guys. Retweet this. You're the bomb, like tick, tick, boom. Peace.